The following tier list contains explicit language and spicy takes that may not be suitable for all listeners. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm the doctor. And I'm the companion. And this is Dango Who? Oh, gee, Doc. W- what scrappy fun adventure are we going to have today in space? Today we're going to piss everyone off and rate the first episode, the first season of Doctor Who each episode. I can speak English. Yeah. Those so, words are definitely arranged so, in the way it was meant to be. So in case you missed it, yesterday we put up our first episode of the Dango Who podcast, mm-hmm. where we talk about every single episode of New Doctor Who. Season and, one. And as a companion to that, we're, we're doing the tier list and we're going to be updating this tier list after every episode episode of the podcast right, yeah exactly so after every season yep 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 we'll have our own for torchwood if su- if such a thing exists if such a thing exists otherwise or we'll, we'll just make our have own. to make our own so Rip uh us. as you know as you see we have already put all the episodes in in bad so thank you for watching and thank you along where dango duo <laughs> yeah right remember to like comment and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when daleks show up ever- again mm-hmm. it won't be long no nope. uh no but for real skitty for real this time so the episodes for the season are mm-hmm. rose the end of the world the unquiet dead Aliens of London, World War Three, Dalek, The Long Game, Father's Day, The Empty Child, The Doctor Dances, Boomtown, Bad Wolf, and The Parting of the Ways. And I just heard our son outside the oh door. Oh my god! It's fine. And, and we're we're this are ordered. Uh, we just uh, we found this uh, tier list, and yeah. uh, and it was the best one because it has pictures of the episode yeah. with the title of the episode. Yeah. So. So the, and the categories are phenomenal for the be- very best for the best. S tier ranking. Basically, where the impossible planet is gonna go. Yeah. Uh, fantastic for things that is almost there. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. Weak and ultimately bad. Is he had to try to get into the room? No, he's just crying. He's just crying. He want to play. He want to play. Well, that's fine then. He brought me a mouse earlier. Did he? It was uh, very cute. A toy mouse, not a dead mouse. Oh, God, God no. damn it! No, he, he, like, our son no, can't. No, he, he he tried to make friends with the mouse. <laughs> one mouse we had. So. I don't know how you want to tackle this. I don't know if you want to just like grab the ones that is definitely like better than nothing. That's better than right. I feel like we should probably start with the top and like put our favorite episodes up there and then kind of go down from okay. there. Okay. Uh, so, so is Bad Wolf Parting of the Ways going up? Uh, up to the top? Phenomenal? I think those, uh, the more we talked about them, the more I was like, God, I fucking love those. I f- See, because I feel like they're here. That's fair. And then Phenomenal is like the impossible planet and, and anything Oh, that... now he wants in. Oh, now he wants in. Oh, my uh, Lord. Talk to the viewers while I, while I well, go get our son. Our son. Our fucking son. I don't know, because like, the more we were talking about it in the podcast, the more like I appreciated it. Like I've always loved... Yeah, it's a comment. Does he have a mouse? No, he doesn't. Oh, that's fair. Like I've always loved the way the Bad Wolf opens. Because it's just so funny that... Yeah, yeah, the Doctor's in Big Brother, you know, 69. 669. Um, As you do. Yeah, and there's 75 big brothers running at one, at one time. It's just hilarious. Um, and the Rose is on the weakest link and is literally from the 21st century, doesn't know half this shit. Um, but yeah, no, I think they're really good. So My question is this. Mm-hmm. Is there a chance for the episodes to have a different ranking? Because I think that Bad Wolf is good, but I feel like maybe Party yeah, yeah, of oh, the yeah. Ways is a little bit higher I, up. I think that's super fair. Do you... Yeah, I think that's fair. Because I and again, because like as a as a story progression, it does kind of culminate in yeah. parting of the ways. Because I, I again like because there's a lot of more powerful moments in that episode in particular yeah. of like you know absolutely Rose and her family and yeah, and, and we have the the emotional cul- cul- culmination of even the bad wolf yeah exactly uh, story story uh, story thread mm-hmm. and because it feels weird to me and I know that I'm I'm already bearing the lead because mm-hmm. I think that the Impossible Planet and the Satan Pit are probably the two best episodes of Doctor Who ever that we've watched that we have seen so far yeah. and I feel like that right there is the unattainable unattainable goal you're not wrong and I feel like anything that isn't that should and, be and below and we can here. also you know put it put them you know in front of Parting of the Ways because this is just no no no, no. oh no no no, no. W- w- when the time comes to yeah. to rate the Impossible Planet which is like literally uh, right, right here there in the Satan Pit Right here. In between uh, some uh, shit episodes. Yeah. I mean, like, we can just literally just do this right now, but well, we won't. But we won't. But we won't. No. Uh, Bad Wolf, definitely fantastic. Yeah, very good. Very funny. Love it. All right, so... Um, what's our, our... I love The Empty Child and the Doctor Dances. I would honestly, though, put it in fantastic, as much as I love it. Uh, which... Both of them? I think so. Because I love the mystery that The Empty Child sets up, this, like, horror that's going on mm-hmm. quietly underneath the surface of, like, what the fuck is wrong that's with this fair. child? That's and fair. then the culmination of the emotional moment in The Doctor Dances, I feel like, puts mm-hmm. them both on an equal level that, you know, not quite the same feeling, but... 
you know what, what we need to do? Hmm. We need to actually, like, start moving them up and down. That's depending fair. on which thing is which. Because, like, I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well... Whoops! Because I'm like, I, I, I need to drop some of these boys. Some of these boys need to, to, to go. I, I, like, I, I like... I like Kathika I, in, in the long game. I would actually qualify the long game as weak because it has some good moments, but fucking hate Adam. That's... That's... Completely perfect. What about same with Unquiet Dead? It has some good moments, but like, and, and, Lord, and, is it boring? Yeah, and it's it's not bad because no. bad episodes is like freaking Love and Monsters is a bad episode. Yeah. Spoilers or what's the one from Torchwood that we were watching? Uh, the, the fucking ghost one. I don't the ghost remember. One. That's oh, it's fuck... like the uh, another's shoes or some fucking yeah. shit like that. Or, or uh, a spoiler: the, the girl in the fireplace. Ooh. Like like episodes. It has to be bad if I feel like it was a waste of time. Yeah. And, and the, then weak the, episodes have a moment of like, yeah, yeah this the, 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 was fun or enjoyable. The redeemable thing for me in the long game is Kathika. Yeah, she's I great. fucking love Kathika, and I wish that she had come back. Yeah. In the Unquiet Dead... It's Dead, Gwen. It's Gwen. It's, it's Gweneth. Yeah. Which is... when in the past, for some reason. Right. And I, I just like that. I really and like I, that. And I like the guy who played Charles Dickens, but like, yeah, it's, it's so minor that like, I couldn't even put it in the okay. It's kind of... Yeah. It's, it's pretty weak. Now... My thing is this. Okay. Where the hell does Rose fit into this? I would say good, to be honest. Because it's, it's a little weak in terms of its, like, budget overall. But it still, like, tells, like, a it still compels you to watch the rest of the season, essentially. It introduces all these characters that they're going to tie up later. I, I was going to argue... But then mm-hmm. I remembered the bit about the doctor talking about how, you know, like, he can feel the world yes. rotating. And that's probably one of my favorite moments in Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, which of these is getting dropped? I feel like Father's Day is going to fantastic. No, good? I don't know if it's fantastic. That's fair. I love I it, but conflicted. I can I can very easily put it in good, and, at least. I, like, I feel like, like, like the worst... Okay, let's just say it right now. Okay. The worst episode in season one of Doctor Who is... It's just weak. Yeah. It's weak. Yeah. Because, like, like Aliens of London, I feel like it's weak, but the best part of Aliens of London is fucking Harry Jones. Oh, yeah, Harry Jones. MP of fucking That's why I would Nolan say North. World War Three should actually go in okay, and Aliens of London should be weak. Yeah, World War Three stays where it is, because she has that uh, speech at the end of it that kind of elevates That's it. That's true. That mm-hmm. is absolutely true. I feel like the end of the world... is kind of weak. The, the best part of the end of the world is, like, Britney Spears, like, the, the, the classic uh, human ballad of oh, Toxic by yep. Britney Spears. Right. I feel like it's it's weak. It's kind of weak, to be honest. I, I, again, but I need, I need you to understand that, like, on a sca- on if we were grading these on a curve, mm-hmm. the worst episode of season one of Doctor Who is still it, it's weak, but it's not bad. They're not bad. They just have bad elements, or you know. And and again, like, I wish that I could put Dalek in fantastic, mm-hmm. but the fact that the Daleks come back, I feel like. I mean, like, if we were to judge it on its own, on its own, but. It, it's and it also has fuckboy Adam in it, that's, so that's fair. It can go in the good, I think. Oh, we'll we'll review this. Yeah, is Boomtown Boom... can stay in okay? I, I think. think Boomtown is okay. Yeah, no, Boomtown has that nice moral decision and kind of sets up the season finale. I guess, and and it is the it, it sets up Cardiff as being the center of the universe, <laughs> right? Basically, the center of Torchwood. You like that? I think that's fair. I think I think Boomtown is. While forgettable is good enough to be okay. What about Father's Day? Oh, that one's so hard because I love it, but I also see its weaknesses. Ah. Uh, okay, let's just both be honest right now. It's not okay. No, no, it's good. it's not, it's it's not weak. Good. It's not okay. I think I feel like Father's Day is the bottom of good. Hmm. And, and actually, you know what? I would actually, actually say no. that. I would. I would even say the top of good. Cause yeah, Rose is, yeah, 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 yeah. That feels good. That yeah. feels good right there. Yeah, that feels good right there. Yeah, because mm-hmm. like, because, and and again, I don't know if you wanna, if the viewers wanna take this as a recommendation of what episodes of Doctor Who to watch. I'm not sure about that. It'd or be a little awkward. It would be a little awkward. <laughs> Just watch them in order, but uh, yeah, you, you know, you can pay uh, t- at least yeah, attention yeah. to the, the yeah. worst yeah. ones. Yeah, like like the one like. Honestly, like there are episodes, like, when we first talked about doing this, we were like, oh, we can skip those episodes, but no, we wanted to do I, all of I, them. I can't do the skipping thing, because it doesn't mm-hmm. feel right in my heart, yeah. in my little in my little kokoro. It doesn't feel right to do that, and I can't do that. That's fair, because if, uh, if we had skipped uh, episodes, we would have skipped The Girl yeah. in the Fireplace, Yeah, uh, uh, which, fucking Love and Monsters. Love and Monsters. Probably God. Fear Her, honestly, too. F- uh, fucking fuck. Anyhow. <laughs> and it's funny because like even in The Unquiet Dead, which honestly I could have fallen asleep watching it again. again yeah. I could have fallen asleep watching it. But there's things in these episodes that are worthwhile for the history of of, of Doctor Who. Especially 
Aliens of London setting up Toshko as being a character who shows up in Torchwood. Yeah, even though she's I, not at all the same I, I, character. I know, but I just like that. To me, that just seems like a writer who is like, I really like this character. Can I just use her I'm just in another story? And put her in here. And the same with Gwyneth. Yeah. Like, I just, I really like that. It, it shows a little bit of like what's going on behind the, cur- yeah. the curtain, and I really like that. And, okay, let's just do this real quickly. I feel like... Out of Aliens those... of London... Which is... The un... not... God. And I feel like... Oh, God, I hate Adam so much. I feel like this is fair. Like, okay. I, I actually, think... I feel like that's that's right. Because I feel like Gwyneth is, is a... Gwyneth showing up in the story is a bit more powerful than, than Toshko. Toshko showing up. Yeah. And and I feel like if I were to watch a show... Because ah, I love Kathika. Kathika is so good. But mm-hmm. would I watch the episode again over because of Thath- Kathika or, or because of uh, Toxic by Britney Spears? I feel mm-hmm. like I would rather watch it for Kathika. That's fair. That's fair. Because I feel like there's a little bit less going on in this episode. Yeah, other than the fact that Cassandra comes back, but yeah. big deal. Big deal. Yeah, honestly. Uh, are, are you, are you, are you, I, I'm okay with this, I think. I think I'm okay with this. Uh, what about the okay category? Yeah. Feels good? Yeah, that feels good, honestly. Because Boomtown is forgettable, so it kind of has to go at the bottom. That's fair. Yeah. What about um, the good category? I feel yeah, like that category... one that one is nailed. Because, again, I feel that Dalek production wise is a superior episode to Rose. Yes. But story wise and the things that it sets up, I feel like Rose is also I wouldn't mind watching that episode again just to like be reminded of what the first episode of <laughs> right. Doctor Who was like. Right. And it's so janky. It's, it's janky. It's so jank. It's like going back to play the original Witcher. It's janky, it's but there's so some jank. heart in there. Yeah. There's some heart in there. Yeah, yeah. And then Father's Day is just good. Father's Day is good. And then what about the fantastic category? How do you want to sort these out? Honestly, I kind of feel like that's almost yeah. I was going to say, it's uh, almost like as it is, but... Well, do you like the Doctor Dances more than the Empty Child? Because I feel like the, like together as a unit, they're fine, mm-hmm. but it takes a while to get things moving. We mm-hmm. spend most of the Empty Child setting up the Empty Child. That's fair, And following that's fair. You know, the ragtag group I, I, of I, little I l- babies. I love that setup, so it's it's hard for me to kind of... What do you think? Which one? Which one's superior, Kitty? That's hard. The Doctor Dances or the Empty Child? I guess you know, like the the climax is is really good in the Doctor Dances, so I guess I would put that above the Empty Child. Even though I love the setup of the Empty Child and all the the steps that it takes, I do feel like the climax makes the whole journey worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and but Bad Wolf can stay up there. I, th- I, I think Bad Wolf's hilarious. Ba- Bad Wolf is hilarious, but but it it doesn't hit that that. Yeah. maximum level of Doctor Who-iness, mm-hmm. such as, like, teleporting into the center of the of the Dalek mega spaceship. Right. And just being like, all right, I'm here. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Hey, hey. It's you. Oh, yeah, I thought, I thought I killed you. <laughs> thought I killed you. I thought I, thought I, I killed, killed you. you. And it just, like, I just like, and, and this comes back in the first episode of season two, just, mm. the, just how gun-ho the Doctor is. Yeah, that's for sure. I love that. I feel like yeah. that showcases uh, a lot of the Doctor. Mm-hmm. Uh, and how do you feel about the steer list? It looks good, honestly. Yeah, like, in in general, there are some low episodes of season one, but there are none that are like, wow, this is not at all worth watching. And and again, by the time that we're recording this after, we're probably like three seasons in, mm-hmm. we've seen season two, the first season of Torchwood, we're almost done with that, mm-hmm. and we're making things really in advance. Yes. One, to avoid spoilers, and second, just to have a nice backlog, so, yeah. so that you guys can know with certainty that you're going to get our videos. Yeah. And... It, it feels weird having seen season two and Torchwood, which definitely have stinkers in them. Oh, certainly. There isn't a single episode that I felt was a waste of my time. Yeah. And I feel like the reason for that, to be entirely honest, mm-hmm. is that every episode in the season focuses on either either of our main characters or mm-hmm. on both of them. Yeah. yeah. And, if, and that's to me, it's the strength of a show. If I'm watching Doctor Who, I want to see what the Doctor and his companion are up to. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and if you don't give me the Doctor or the companion, you were following up some fuck all who gives a shit who the fuck this character is yeah of course it's a nothing episode for me and and that's why there's the weaker episodes you know like the unquiet dead kind of just follows gwyneth and the fucking corpse taker or whatever the fuck yeah and Um, and 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 charles Charles dickens Dickens. and aliens of london kind of follows all the slovenes and their farting adventures yeah and uh the long game fucking talks a lot about fucking adam a third of that episode is is fuck boy adam and his nothing adventures and i'm like i couldn't care less i'm here for the doc the name of the doc the show is doctor whom (laughs) it's true doctor whom doctor what Oi, love, I realized that we went through the entirety of the podcast without doing our terrible British accents. That's probably for the best. Is there anything else you would like to say, love? 
honestly, I think this is a good start to a very long tier list. I don't want to scroll down. Well, okay, look away, I'll, and then I'll scroll down. I'm not going to look away. I'm going to look at all this I'm going to stare into the blindness of the sun. We got a lot to go through, and that's only Doctor Who. But that's fine. This is the fun of it. Yeah, exactly. To take on a challenge. Yeah. To platinum Doctor Who, to get the ultimate achievement. Achievo for achievement Doctor Who. Get. That's it, what we're going to do. But the ultimate achievement was finding out that I actually owned season five and six of Doctor Who. That's so weird. Yeah, I liked season five a lot, honestly. Huh. Well, we'll see. Well, season six... But anyhow, anyway. thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, make sure to hit the bell to be notified when Daleks invade again. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you really enjoyed this episode, consider leaving a nice comment. Just, yeah. you know, let us know that you had fun. Or let us know what you actually think of these episodes. If you think that the parting of the ways is not as good as Bad Wolf, we can argue about that in the comments. Be nice and simple about things. Mm -hmm. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode of the Doctor of Do of Dango Who podcast, mm -hmm. where we're going to be talking about season two of Doctor Who, the 10th Doctor, David Tennant. The introduction of the, our newest Doctor, and tor the introduction of Torchwood. Yeah, and get excited for The Impossible Planet, because oh, that is a fucking so good, good episode. It's so fucking good. <sighs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now, now let's just sing bubblegum cakey just for fun. Uh, so people, uh, people who are paying attention notice that they have the turn of <laughs> calculator on here. I want you to get it realized that damn, I, things are looking dire for my town, but that's fine. Hey, it's, it's, that's, that's uh, that, that one's my town, isn't it? I think it is your town, actually. Yeah. yeah. See you in the next one. See ya.